I hope you're doing good. I just want to say that I love you so much and don't ask why I don't have my mallet again. You already know the story. There we go. Hey girl. Hello my beautiful Capricorn. How are you doing? My name is Simply Valka and today I'm going to be doing your weekly general tarot reading Capricorn. So if you find any cards that resonate with, resonates with you in this weekly reading Capricorn, be sure to let me know in the comments below which ones do and how they do Capricorn because that's how we keep up with y'all through the comments, right? As well, Capricorn, if you do find some cards that resonate, I would really appreciate it for you to take the extra step and give this video a like and subscribe, Capricorn, because it does help out my tarot reading channel a lot and I always am super appreciative of it, Capricorn, when you guys take that extra step to do that for me. And then finally, Capricorn, before we get into this reading, I just want to say that I believe tarot cards, tarot readings are just here to give you some food for thought, a perspective for you to consider, uh, Capricorn. I don't feel like any, at least in my weekly general tarot readings, Capricorn, I don't feel like they're here to make a decision in your life because it's your life to live, not mine, not these cards, and truthfully not any tarot reader that you receive a reading from, but that's neither here nor there, darling, right? So actually, Taurus, before I called you all Taurus, I'm sorry, Capricorn. Before we get into your reading, Capricorn, I actually felt drawn to do something I've never done before for any of the readings where I just felt really, I heard really strongly um, to pull like three extra just side cards that are just completely separate from everything else. Um, so it's probably not going to resonate with all you Capricorns because I'm going to get into a very specific um, message, but... This is in regards to like some type of connection, right? With this two of cups here. This is regarding some type of connection and you kind of being at this indecision Capricorn. And this would be in the now. So it'd be in the now um, where you kind of been weighing it out with them and you're just not sure if it like, almost like this indecisiveness of where it's just like, this is for a Capricorn that's so used to being independent, so used to just being by themselves, being a loner. There's either some type of offer that's come forward to them or something that they've like, some type of connection that they've entertained the idea of putting their pentacles into, and it sounds so bad, investing their pentacles into this connection, but they've kind of are at this indecisiveness. I feel like you Capricorn would be the one that's in control of this decision. And so with this side message, that's just, interesting um take that as you will um for it to again i've never done it in the hundreds of videos <laughs> that i've done um i've not had that happen so for those that resonates with that capricorn let me know in the comments below first of all but um yeah so Capricorn, I was wanted, looking for my cat. Um, your objective card for this week is the Three of Cups. Now the objective card is the energy that you're going to be put in through the everyday occurrences of your life. And now, so this is a really card, good card to have um, because I'm still petting my calf. Y'all are wondering where my arm is at. She's right behind me. Um, in this dynamic, this lets me know of kind of like looking to... Um, Look at the people in your life with a softer eye. I like how this is now turning, like you could associate this with the very specific message I had with those other cards. But there is this sense of having a little bit more compassion, right? As the card says, compassion, um, a little bit more empathy towards other people. Not to say that you aren't already compassionate and empathetic, uh, Capricorn, but it's almost like from this push in spirit for y'all to, um, we're almost like wearing your heart on your sleeve this week. And I know me saying that all right off the bat is going to make so many Capricorns like roll their eyes at me and be like, yeah, girl, okay. But I don't know, you know, and there is a reason why these cards are coming forward in such a way, right? A personal issue reaches a resolution, full moon in Cancer and the waxing moon, the energy is gaining momentum. Something's building up, Capricorn. Something's building up for you. Looking at the bigger picture, full moon in Sagittarius. This is a message in of itself. And again, I didn't pull moon cards for any of the other earth signs. So just something that I just felt drawn to, uh, Capricorn. But new romantic cycle begins, Libra. All right, Capricorn, y'all gonna have to let me know the juice after this reading because <laughs> this is just crazy. Now, I do want to just point out, right, it's kombucha, by the way. I know it looks like I was probably, like, drinking a beer, but 
I know it comes off in such a, like, I've been speaking such a dynamic uh, Capricorn of, like, romantic connection. Even in the card itself, it says romantic connection, right? I mean, what have you. But this could just be talking about, like, an intimate, like, friendship connection as well. There's just some type of connection that's coming in so strongly in this reading, Capricorn, that... <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, man. It's just really interesting how it's um, all panning out. So I don't even feel like I need to get clarifiers for the Three of Cups. I feel like those moon cards clarified that for us. So now let's get into this Nine of Pentacles for you. Now this Nine of Pentacles has been following you because we pulled the Nine of Pentacles before. So again, it's almost just like an extremely just like usually loner independent energy. Hmm. Let's see what's going on here. Okay. So Capricorn, your clarifiers for your nine of pentacles is the four swords. We have the hierophant, right? No, this is the high priestess. The high priestess, four swords and the high priestess. We have the what is, card? what is this card? I don't read inverted, by the way, since it's, I'm all doing intuitive. Um, Seven of Swords. And then we have the Six of Pentacles. So, Capricorn, again, like, you're just used to being by yourself, right? You're used to just kind of relying on yourself. You probably don't like the idea of even showing any type of vulnerability just because, like, you don't want to show any type of weakness, perhaps. Yeah, with this high priestess, it shows to me of an extremely guarded person. Someone that likes to be a little bit more mystical. Well, not mystical is not the word for it. More of an enig uh, viewed as an enigma, right? Not a lot of people know, like, the true Capricorn, right? And then I can't help but feel like um, there's just, like, this natural sense of distrust when it comes to some situation, right? With the Seven of Swords, there is some type of distrust, some type of worrisome of, like, being betrayed. Now, is this a reality from some type of history with this person from before, Capricorn? I don't know, right? But there, or is this just, like, a trauma response for you, right? Because are you just on guard because you're just used to people hurting you, right? Which, I mean, I'm not going to get into too much, but I feel like it's just kind of a silly thing to do, Capricorn, to stop yourself from entertaining any other connection when there's billions of people in this world. Like, why would you not... Why would you, like, why would you let one person ruin billions of people for you? You didn't turn out in a bad way, right? So... Yeah, there's just like this fear of sinking energy into this, of like putting energy because maybe you're just so used to always, maybe from before, uh, Capricorn, you've been burnt in the past, where it's just like you, um, maybe like you, every time you tried before, like it just was always felt uneven, right? Or maybe for some of y'all, y'all just don't want to like, y'all are afraid of if you open up, like what would happen? right? If you were to entertain someone looking in deeper for you, right? Hermiting shows to me like you're, again, just such a closed off energy, Capricorn. I don't know if it's just you in general right now, or you just towards some other type of entity that's around you. Um, but with the Sun card and the Lover's card, it shows to me um, something being working out really well if you were to just open up to it right now this could easily you could pan this out easily because again i know i'm talking about it's very specific for a person but th th you could very easily break this down in a dynamic especially with the nine of pentacles being self-sufficient energy you could easily break this down capricorn of where it's just like <sighs> you would be able to see I can't help but feel like it, if this isn't about a person and it's about like some type of, um, no, I'm not even gonna entertain that. I feel like it is about a person for this. <laughs> I'm sorry about that, but, or, Virgo, Capricorn, but I don't feel like I need to entertain any other aspects towards this. So, um, let's get into this Queen of Swords now. 
What deck do we want to use? We're gonna use this one, the Mystical Manga. We're gonna get into this Queen of Swords, see what this is about. We have the Knight of Cups already flying out with the... Penny, what is this card that fell out? Page of Wands fell out, darling. I know y'all can't see it yet. Y'all can't even see me, hello. Um, and then we have the Hierophant and the Three of Pentacles coming out. So, again, with the more guarded energy, um, and it also is talking about big decisions as well. So, I'm going to now just lean into the like an actual like um, contract, like contractual, more like physical, like job opportunity here because of this Three of Pentacles. And I kind of got that sense with the lover's card as well, because it, I felt like it was more so honing in on a message of complex decision, whether it was about a person or with a job here. Um, there's something that you could potentially sign with. Like, I feel like this is something that was like offered to you with this Knight of Cups, something that was offered to you. And Hierophant shows again an aff affirming message with the Three of Pentacles where it's like... Um, where it's not just like a short term, like it's kind of long, it's long term. Like these are two things where it's just like really committed energy. It's not something you can just like dip your toes in and get out. And so from this, it makes sense as to why you'd be in this queen of swords, queen of swords energy of where you're being careful about the decisions. But the only thing is like, I don't know what I have against the queen of swords in specific. I truly feel like I don't, but um whenever i see the queen of swords capricorn i'm always just kind of like eh, because i worry about the person the individual that it comes out for and like their mindset on things making sure that you have to balance that like really like tough love energy with a nice healthy dose of compassion which is what we were talking about from before right capricorn so that's just something i want to say no particular reason other than my own bias that i have towards the queen of swords right now the page of wands again this is something just like whenever i see this card this is like my clean slate card i like to say so it's something like where you like a fresh brand new start on something that you are being very unsure about it you're being very guarded about it right two of swords now following into that so let's get what deck do we want to use for this though we're gonna use this deck so let's get into this two of swords like because the two of swords is a card of indecision right it shows like a fork in the road are you gonna which path are you going to take are you going to take this exit or are you going to take a different one right so the clarifiers that we have for you are two of swords following nicely after that two uh, or after that queen of swords i might add as well um we have the six of pentacles following you again so there is this consistent message of balance which i always would just naturally will point out because i'm a libra scorpio cusp capricorn um we have the moon card we have the queen of pentacles and then we have the king of swords matching this energy so i can't help but feel, you know very much so counterpart energy very much so a calling that sits with your soul whether it's a person or an opportunity something here is really of a soul match for you regardless um but again there is just this sense of fear of sinking energy into it there is just this guarded energy of being like well what if i put my energy into this unknown thing because i feel like it's something that you don't really know the results of obviously you wouldn't because if you knew the results of it then you'd clearly do it but this is kind of like one of those things capricorn it's kind of like one of those things where you have to just accept that you're not going to know the answers of to life sort of thing right i know that's kind of like an annoying thing to hear especially when you came to a tarot readers channel to receive a tarot message but you know like any normal tarot reader would say like the future is never solid but there is just like the sense of where you kind of have to just accept that you kind of have to make not even just kind of you have to make choices at some point um capricorn on stuff that you don't quite know about right and be okay with it just because you don't here's another random side message but it's just like just because you are making a decision on something that's kind of just the unknown you don't quite know the results of that doesn't make you a, an immature person that doesn't make you 
a reckless person that makes you just a person that's taking a chance and because you can still here's the thing you can not be sure about the results of something quite entirely but you can take an educated chance you can and that's all you need to do right um and then we have the queen of pentacles coming in here as this message again such a like independent energy <laughs> for you um capricorn i can't help but tell y'all that some of y'all need to just learn to ask for help ask for another person's perspective i know that might be a lot of uh, like that might be a lot i'm asking a lot for some of you uh capricorns in this way but when i keep on seeing such an independent energy such an independent thought like i mean i mean one i obviously celebrate independent thought patterns and i really understand the thought process behind rather not like behind not caring about other people not not caring but not um feeling as if like your perspective is more trustworthy than what you would get from someone else that isn't involved in your life in that way right but i feel like with all this hermited energy capricorn you there is you kind of need to let some fresh air in right um you can't just be only answering to your own head all the time you have to have some type of outside challenges and so we're getting into your clarifier for your final card now capricorn the sun card what's going on here you know the sun card is the best card in the deck and we follow it with the star card which is actually the earring that i'm wearing um <laughs> which is a wish fulfillment we have the seven of pentacles coming in here we have the page of wands here and then we have the six of wands really an amazing this is like a promised harvest, all right? If I were to just title this, this would be an extremely promised harvest where it's just like someone like, you know, if we're going to like write a fairy tale on this or a folk tale, it's almost just as if like some God came in into a village and told them to like plant potatoes, right? Very much so Outlander, if anyone knows that reference from Outlander. Um, someone came in and told them to plant potatoes right because it would be an extremely promising harvest this is the result of it right this is the result of you following going out into the unknown because by you going out into the unknown you get to that star by you choosing to plant potatoes even though it makes no sense to plant potatoes like you end up finding a star you end up getting rewarded for that six of wands is the victory card i mean not much detail to that the seven of pentacles is the harvest card it is the crops card that's why you would use the analogy for that for potatoes not just because i'm crazy um and then page of wands we close this out again with the page of wands for you where it is kind of just like a clean slate so it is really pushing to me where it's just like getting out of your element um with something capricorn and really just um doing something that you wouldn't be able to explain to anybody else logically right you can't give like you may not be able to give like a solid fact or reason as to why you need to plant those potatoes but something in you is telling you to plant potatoes something in you is telling you that this would be a really good uh bounty for you if you were to take this chance on that harvest or if you were to take a chance on that person right you know we were so all over the place with all these examples honey <laughs> so capricorn i hope this these messages resonated in some type of way for you if it did be sure to let me know in the comments below which cards did and how they did be sure to give this video a like and subscribe capricorn and then also i do all the weekly journal zodiac readings each week for all the zodiac science capricorn so if you have a friend that's into tarot or even if they're not into tarot capricorn be sure to send them their zodiac sign video and maybe they'll find a message that resonates with them until next time though capricorn i love you so much bye